Click Connect. I'm your host, Craig Sullivan. Today, we have the return of Matt Hostetler, the CDO of Red Roof. Can't wait to bring him in, So, but we will in just a second. I want to thank our friends at Chicago Title National Commercial Services Group, and you should give them a call. So with that done, Matt Hostetler, the Chief Development Officer of Red Roof Franchising, is in the house. Welcome, Matt. How are you? I am. Gl- I am doing great, and glad to be back with you, Craig. How are you doing? Very, very good. You've made my day, and producer Danny's by being here. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. And you know, you're on our front lines. You're the people that I come to. You know, when I'm starting to hear little rumbles and all that. And you know, we've had some banking issues lately. We've had some money tightening. What are you hearing out there on the capital stack? Well, you know, Craig, I think it's one of those things that we've been hearing for a while, uh, simply since the um, pandemic and anything that has uh, come from that. um, You know, money has certainly tightened up. Uh, So, you know, when you bring that opportunity into play, um, you know, we, we just, you know, make sure that the franchisee or the person that's bringing us the opportunity um, has everything buttoned up. You know, the sponsor has to put a you know beautiful business plan together, nice narrative of what they're going to do, why they're going to do it, where they're going to do it, um, and you know that that capital stack becomes you know very important depending on um, who the players are. Uh, co- you know, your common stock, your preferred stock. So, I think it's I think it's. Um, Let's just say, you know, with the with what's happened with some of the banks, I don't think that we're seeing it as much where we play. Uh, I think a lot of the um, uh, concern is overall. Uh, but you know, at Red Roof and in our development on our development team and the prospects that we're working with and our pipeline, um, they're diligently working through it because um, they're seasoned at what they're do what they do. So um, we're we're pretty comfortable with where we stand right today. Good. I'm glad to hear that because I think. The segments that you have are are critical. You know, you've got from economy to a soft boutique brand. Love the extended stay. Um, you know, and that was certainly the the darling during the pandemic. Um, and I think it's going to be even more vital as we move forward. So, what are you seeing on brand conversions on a national overview? Is that going to be a lot of your pipeline for the remainder of this year and into next year? Yeah, you know, we're, we're primarily a conversion um, brand company, uh, building our consistency and um, structure through our in-room services, you know, in the room being consistent, the lobby areas being consistent, albeit the building may look different than one from another. Um, you know, we do obviously have new construction prototypes um, for for our uh, Red Roof Plus, uh, Extended Stay, Hometown Studios uh, brands, including our uh, dual brand, which, you know, we can get into as well. Um, but we'll, you'll see the majority of our growth through through conversion. And I think, frankly, um, the majority of the growth with our competitors as well, specifically in our space, will stay uh, conversion as well for the next few years. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's that's the way to go. And, you know, you you, you gave me the perfect setup. So my next question was new hotel development. You know, let's talk about hometown studios and and your dual branded development uh, first. So let's start out with uh, your extended stay property. Let's let's talk about that and and new prototypes and then your uh, your branded uh, dual dual hotel. So a few years back, uh, we were blessed with about. Uh, 55 or uh, near, nearly 60 assets that came into the extended stay space into our company uh, uh, via hometown studios. Uh, so we, over time, have branded it by Red Roof um, and have uh, evolved uh, for our uh, our customers, our franchisees and, and the consumer uh, into a new, new construction prototype offering as well, which we actually through the pandemic had um, redesigned for even more affordability and more consistency and more, uh, you know, the ability to have it easier for more easier development um, because of, you know, costs of raw materials have went up so much. Um, So you'll see um, we'll continue to grow our extended stay 
uh, uh, brand through conversions. There's a lot of great uh, boxes out there um, that may be leaving one brand and uh, looking for a, a, a next life with a, with us. Um, so we have an affordable, um, you know, depending on what the box is, anywhere from two to $10,000 per key uh, renovation. Um, that's, you know, 10,000 obviously being the extreme without the kitchenettes, because we do see a lot of transient opportunities coming to us uh, to convert into extended stay based on market shifts um, across the country. So we'll still see that growth. We have a few really good developers that are taking boxes and doing that with us. Uh, and they're pr proving it out and being really, really successful. Um, so we're going to stick with that model and our new construction prototype. We have several in the ground in the Tampa region uh, with a very important franchise uh, group of ours. Um, and we've signed additional franchises that will start uh, development and breaking ground uh, later on this year, not only for hometown studios, but for our other brands as well. I love it. And, you know, I, I think you're, you, you, you touched on something right now. You look at some of those older boxes with those really big rooms and you've got an opportunity to turn those into extended stay, especially if you've got enough room against the bathroom wall where you can tie into water and sewage and all of that, you know, that certainly makes it a lot more attractive. And I like the price point, uh, you know, for your conversions from that two to $10,000. I think that's, that's more than affordable for everybody and, and, and just a great opportunity for you uh, as a brand coast to coast. Well, um, I'll, add, I'll add to that, Craig, if you don't, don't mind uh, for a second, it's, very important for any developer, whether you're uh, converting uh, or building new, is you need to find out zoning and uh, the extended stay. Yeah. Uh, those two words need to be uh, discussed with the zoning and, and the uh, your 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 board of your local municipality as well, because there are a lot of laws that um, span around this space. Uh, because frankly, a lot of people in the in the uh, communities don't understand exactly what it is. They think that an extended yeah. stay is a transient hotel with people staying at it for a long time. Yeah. And we all, we all know that there's a true space for this. Uh, when it's done properly, it meets a need for a lot of various different uh, people and travelers in our, in our industry. Absolutely. And if you look at the influx of visitors into Florida, um, you know, that extended stay property makes a vacation, you know, very affordable for a family of, three, four, or more. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and, and, and the road warriors, you and I, um, you know, if we're going to be in an area for, you know, seven to 10 days, let's say, that's our base camp. I, you know, I don't necessarily want to go out and eat every night. You know, I just as soon, you know, make, you know, some eggs or something in the, in the morning and a light dinner, you know? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you know, it, it's a, it's a space that has uh, obviously many tiers. It can go up to, um, you know, up, upscale. And it really is, you know, you have families that are relocating, you have military depots, you have gig workers, you have nurses traveling. There's yeah. also people. I mean, you think about some of the storms you mentioned, Florida, you think California, um, <laughs> All of these places have great opportunities for for um, extended stay and uh, university towns. Yep. Um, very, very, very positive. It's a you know we're super to have this in our portfolio. We're, we're super happy. Absolutely, it, it was you know uh, it was really the blessing that you needed, and and it it, it took things to a whole nother level. Um, tell us about your dual branded uh, development. You know that this is all. This is interesting. Obviously, you you um, you watch things from afar, and there's uh, our competitors are we're out there doing it. And, you know, Marriott had done, uh, completed some um, dual branding, and then uh, you know Choice and others. And you know you watch in you know uh, Motel Six, uh, Studio Six, and we just watched and we thought, okay, well let's give this a, a, an opportunity, uh, and let's give this a shot. So one of our current franchisees um, jumped on board with us and. We've made a, we've made some uh, uh, great leaps and bounds with this uh, particular franchisee who now has two, um, and we have a few other franchisees that are working on their second and third ones as well. Um, you know, it takes a lot of your operational expense, puts it under one roof. Um, so you're having, uh, you know, your your team of 
experts in maintenance and in housekeeping, uh, taking care of the the asset, um, you know, from both sides of, of the uh, ledger, and you have um, uh, less expense, if you will, uh, with more with higher revenue. It is the expectation. I love it. You know, the economies of scale, I, I think, are tremendous. I mean, one pool instead of two, you know, one laundry facility if you're doing that on site. Um, you know, and again, you know, one GM, you know, one director of sales. Yeah, I it, it just makes so much sense. And, you know, with with the ability to do a conversion, you know, we've got we've still got a lot of what I refer to as the Route 66 motel. Uh, California, Arizona, you know, various other Western states. And, you know, if you, and we've seen the rise of what I refer to as the boutique, taking these hotels and, and redoing them, making them hip, chic, cool, and fun at a price point that's affordable. Um, you know, and doing some of that with some of these larger, whether it's an exterior corridor or not, and being able to, you know, convert part of it to, you know, a red roof, part of it to your hometown studios, you know, really, you know, is, is I think ideal, you know, of course, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for new construction. I love seeing it. You know, we all, we all do, you know, it's, it's that shiny new, Ooh, let's, let's, let's see it. Uh, but, you know, let's talk a bit about your red collection. What's going on there. I mean, I think that's a great opportunity for the indie hotelier. Uh, you know, that, that needs, frankly, to have some support of a res system and yeah. something that's not going to be overly cumbersome for them to really, you know, fit in easily. So let's, let's talk about the red collection, please. You know, it, it, thanks. I appreciate that so much. And California is like phenomenal, would be phenomenal for our red collection as we continue yeah. to, to grow it. Um, you know, you talk about those boutique hotels, um, you know, at the end of the day, they still need to figure out how to brand that particular location. And, you know, there's something really cool and unique about whatever the hotel, uh, wherever the hotel may be, whether it's a 32 room opportunity or 132 rooms, you need that power of uh, the, the back of the house. You need the, the systems, the tools to be able to manage that and, and, be able to still have that really cool personality and take on the local flair of the community and become part of it. And it's not just the brand name up there that everyone knows from a distribution perspective, in some cases all around the world or all around the country. Um, so we, we find a very, very good uh, opportunity here. And we're um, really starting to dig into it a little more. We're getting ready to open a few more this year. Um, and we're very excited about the way these particular properties have taken on their particular markets. Um, you know, it's where it's in destinations where, you know, people want to go and just be able to walk out the door, uh, go to wherever they're going. They may or may not need a, uh, a car that may be just a, a Uber or a taxi ride, taxi ride away, but you get that local flair and that destination feeling of, Hey, I'm in, you know, whatever it may be, um, you know, Center City, LA, uh, with a really cool, unique um, uh, setting to enjoy yeah. lo local, local flair, local food, all that sort of thing. Absolutely, and you know, up and down the state. I mean, let, let's you know, Sacramento to San Diego. I think there's opportunities for you and, yeah, you know, and your and development based, team. Based on some of the reports I'm starting to read, uh, California's back. Uh, that's what we want to see. We want to see the travelers coming back to California. We want to see uh, the independent operators happy. We want to see the branded operators happy. We want to see heads and beds. And, you know, that's really what it's all about. We have a great industry. We have a great industry. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Before we wrap this up, talking about uh, the brands, let's hear a little bit uh, about Red Roof and Red Roof Plus, please. Well, you know, First of all, Red Roof's been around. We're, as you know, Craig, uh, we've been on a few other uh, uh, shows. Some what's the some Friday night audit thing, <laughs> <laughs> and no vacancy. Yeah, we no know, vacancy. We, we know we're in our fiftieth fiftieth uh, year at Red Roof, and we're very proud to have such a iconic brand that has been around for fifty years. Because you know, in some cases, brands will 
come and go. They'll disappear or be absorbed, be right. shelved. Um, and, you know, we haven't disappeared. We haven't been absorbed and we haven't been shelved. Um, we're still family owned. Um, we're pushing 700 hotels. Uh, nice. and our, you know, we want to go north of a thousand. So I still have a lot of work to do. Um, we're very excited about what 23 is offering and what we still have yet to do and what we can do in the next few years. Um, you know, we're transformative right now. And you got to move as quick as the computer, the technology, whatever it may be that allows you to, to move as quick as you possibly can. So we have a lot of great, great things that we're doing, uh, including um, our IBEX program with our um, uh, call centers, our, ho our hotel key uh, that we're, we're, we're switching out our ready stay program and getting ready to in, in, influx all of the uh, hotel key. And that is such an offering that is going to, bring such a huge value, not only to our franchisees, but to our company. It's going to allow us to do other things, to be to go into other things and and help grow our offering as well. So um, well, we're, let's we're talk very, about that some more. We're very Dive bullish into that. about that. Dive into that, please. Let's let's tell the audience more about that. Well, you know, I mean, there's other brands out there with uh, with this particular, um, um, you know, property management system, but it allows, yeah. it's much easier for training. It's much easier to, uh, manage for a franchisee. Um, let's let's you know talk about our space. We have a lot of first timers uh, that come into the hospitality industry and the economy segment. Um, we have a robust training schedule. We'll have a robust train key along with hotel key that will bring our franchisees in, make sure they're onboarded the appropriate way, so they hit the ground running. And it's you know it's all about pre marketing your your assets as well, right? Making right. sure that the you know, on day one that there's people walking through the door, um, you know, that have a reservation. And that that's the power of branding, whether you soft brand with the red collection or you, you know, full brand with Red Roof, Red Roof Plus or our extended state uh, uh, brands as well. So, you know, being a part of a system uh, is a good thing. Uh, being part of uh, an in, you know, being an independent, but part of a system is also good as well, because you get, you know, with the red collection, you get the best of both worlds. So, you know, in, in 2023, we're going to be doing a lot, you know, and, the, and the, it will benefit our consumer customer and our main customer, our franchisee. Love it. Love it. All right, my friend, 50th anniversary. What's in store for your franchisees? To help celebrate not only them but Red Roof as well and the traveling public. Well, you know they they celebrate with us, and um, we're yeah. we're we're with a ninety two percent satisfaction rate by our franchisees, and eighty six percent of those will refer our company to another opportunity. Um, we feel they're celebrate they're celebrating with us. Uh, so we're doing all sorts of things. With, with our charities across the board, um, with our, our pets, because pets stay free. Uh, right. There's all sorts of great things throughout the year. Next week's our mid, uh, we're doing an early mid-year meeting where we're going to be celebrating our 50th anniversary. Um, our brand uh, celebrated in November at okay. the, uh, at the uh, Broadmoor in uh, Colorado. And uh, we're going to continue to do that throughout the year. And, and, be, and again, we're going to continue to drive value we're going to be transformative and uh, continue to continue to grow our business. Absolutely. You know, Red Roof under your tutelage and the ownership has had a reputation of helping the franchisees. You certainly stepped up during the pandemic and took care of all your franchisees. So please tell the audience about Red Roof and how they're helping the existing franchisees and how they can help the new franchisees, please. Well, a couple of things going on. First of all, we're very, we ask our franchisees and our franchisees are very, very involved in their community to become part of their community and realize that the Red Roof franchisee is an owner that lives there, shops there, and let's give back to the community as well. So we have a, we have a, a, a large constituency of franchisees that are out there doing this on a day in and day out basis. We do it nationally from Room in Your Heart uh, through Marina's team at on the marketing side. Um, so we're gonna we'll, we'll do all of those things to to uh, continue to celebrate the brand and and move throughout the year. Nice, I love it. 
All right, my friend. It is time for our lightning round. Uh-oh. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Producer Danny's going to put two minutes on the clock. Starting now. Hotel development. Busy. Franchisees. Awesome. New product. Wins. Your favorite musical band, group, duo, or solo artist? Steve Miller Band. Nice. Gotta love the jam band. That's what I'm talking about. Favorite car? C8. <laughs> Favorite sport? Football. Pittsburgh Steelers. Terrible towel. Gotta love it. Red. Roof. Uh, barbecue. This afternoon. <laughs> Favorite movie? Uh, you know what? I, I got to tell you, I love um, old school. Nice. Gotta I love, love comedies. Everyone should have humor in their life. There you go. Beach or mountains? Beach. You did that, my friend, in a minute seven. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Before we wrap this up, what one thing do you want the hotel industry to know about Red Roof? What I would love the hotel industry to know and those that are interested in being in the hotel industry to get in touch with Red Roof. We have a DE&I and belonging program second to none. We are implementing programs to help those underserved markets not only get into the hospitality business, but figure out how to help them own uh, in the in the hospitality hotel business. So I would ask you to get on our website, redrooffranchising.com, reach out to the chief development officer. That would be me. Find Lena Patel. She's our director of strategic initiatives. We will be um, working with, partnering with all of the national associations uh, to do so. NABHOOD, Latino Hotel Association, AHOA, AHLA, all the way down the line. So whatever it is, I want everybody to know that we are diverse. We have 61% of diversity in our senior leadership team. Our ownership is 100% diversity. And I will also say that I think it was 55% uh, of the women uh, that are in our company uh, gained a promotion or uh, in some cases, first quarter of 2023, 22 and 23, where they've been promoted. So we are advocates for not only women in the hospitality industry, but women in ownership as well. Love it. Thank you, my friend. One last thing. Shameless plug. How can people get a hold of you, Matt? Uh, M. Hostetler at redroof.com, redrooffranchising.com. Check the contacts page, contact us, smoke signals, uh, whatever it is. Just give it a shot. Ring the doorbell. We'll, we'll, oh, you can get a hold of me. There you go. Matt, thank you. Always a pleasure. You've always got an open invitation to rejoin the conversation on Click Connect anytime you want. Thank you, my friend. We're proud to be a sponsor of Click Connect and uh, a friend of yours, and you're a friend of ours. So, Best wishes to the rest of 2023 and to all the California uh, hotel owners and travelers. We wish you the best as well. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Great show. Great having Matt back in the, in the show for the conversation. Give our friends at Red Roof a call. They'd love to hear from you. Also, I'd like to thank Chicago Title again for their help with this show. And you know what? Stay tuned for a big announcement for Click 7, our hotel development deal of the year. Please subscribe and smash that bell on our YouTube channel so that you're notified of all new episodes, vlogging that I'm doing from various conferences and locations. And don't forget to stay tuned. California Craig's coming back. We've got a three-minute Thursday, Glenn Hausman and I, every Thursday. And, of course, Glenn Hausman and I are doing Friday Night Audit every Friday. So we got a special guest uh, coming up on that show. It'll be a lot of fun. If you did not catch Friday Night Audit with Matt, I got him to dive into a pool that was only at 61 degrees. So got to check that out. They'll dive into that deal and help you. I 
guarantee it. Okay. Thank you all. And remember, be kind, share your knowledge. Now go be amazing.